So, what you need to be clear on is that algebra is not perfect. Whew, right, now, what am I meaning by that? Um, what I mean by that is that let's say we wanted to solve a quadratic equation. Okay, great. Well, we've got a quadratic formula that can deal with any quadratic equation that I have. Okay, a general quadratic can be solved using the quadratic formula. Great. How about a cubic? Once again, there is a cubic formula. Okay, so there is a formula that will allow you to solve cubic equations. I have never personally used that cubic formula. You can look it up on uh, the internet. Okay, it looks horrendous. You're more than welcome to try having a, having a go at it. But there is a cubic formula that will solve a cubic equation. Um, how about a quartic? Well, yes, there is also a quartic formula. Um, which can solve any general quartic equation. Okay, so if you've got a quartic polynomial equal to zero, there is a formula that you can use. It once again, it is even more horrendous. You are more than welcome to have a have a look at it on the internet. I have never used it, um, but there is one. Okay, so what about a quintic? Well. That's where there is a problem, because there is no quintic polynomial equaling zero, and there's no formula to generally solve one of those. Now, that's not to say that those don't have solutions. What I'm saying is that there is no algebraic formula using uh, radicals, as they refer to them, or thirds, okay, uh, that will enable you to do that. Um, and it's been proved that there is no formula for any degree, any polynomial of degree higher than 4. Uh, there's no formula that you can actually write down that will solve them. Okay, So I've just got to have that on my screen because I've got to remind myself. It's the Abel-Ruffini theorem. Okay, So Abel-Ruffini theorem. Okay, which you can look up if you're interested. Okay, the Abel-Ruffini theorem states that there is no general formula to solve a polynomial of degree five or higher. Okay, which means that our algebra can't go there. Okay, it doesn't work. Um, which leads us to then have to use some numerical methods in order to solve those equations, to find those roots, okay, to locate where those graphs cross the x-axis. And that is what this section is going to be about. Okay? So we're going to look at uh, three, uh, three aspects of it, uh, three ways of, of looking at finding those roots. Firstly, by the change of side method. Then we're going to use the x equals g of x method, and then we've got the, new, uh, the newton rapson method. Okay? Now, there are other methods as well, but these are the three methods that we are going to focus our attention on. Okay? So, once you've kind of got over the fact that algebra really isn't perfect, um, and it's been shown that this is the case, then we can continue and be happy in the knowledge that actually there are methods that we can utilise to solve uh, more complicated equations.